to the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Shelley Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Time to go home, everyone. Come on. Home time. That's good. Story makers. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down. The stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hello. I'm Shelley Wordsworth, magical maker of stories. Come on, what are we waiting for? Let's have some fun. Um. Hello, I want to show you something. Look, <laughs> uh, aren't they lovely? <laughs> Lots mm. of quiet and floaty balloons. Yes, yeah, and so, so pretty. <laughs> if you pull the string mm. <laughs> like this, yeah. <laughs> they go oh. bobbity, bobbity, bob. Uh, <laughs> hi, Jaxie. Uh, hi, oh, Jelly, my Shelly. little princess. <laughs> Oh, what are you two up to? We're, we're looking at these balloons. Mm. Oh, balloonifers. <laughs> <laughs> They've been bobbity bobbiting all day. I was watching them. Oh, I love balloons. Yeah. Um, Shelley, mm? where do balloons come from? Mm. Well, actually, Jelly, mm. they start off like this. Balloon moon. <laughs> mm. <laughs> they start off like this. No, 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 Shelley, I think your magic's gone wrong. That's not a balloon. Ah, mm -mm. but it needs to be blown up. Mm. They all start off like this, but it needs to be filled with this. It's air. Exactly. Mm. And if I put it in the balloon, then it will stretch oh. like this. Oh. Ooh, wow. <laughs> To do it. It's really big now. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I just need to put a knot in it. Yeah. Like yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> it gets a bit fiddly. Oh, yeah. um, um, let me see. Oh! Oh, oh, no! oh! It's escaped! Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, oh, Jelly, yeah. you're such a funny. Yeah. Yeah. Where did it go? I think it went into the story machine. Oh, oh, it's starting up. Oh! oh. But with a bit of imagination, yeah. we could make a balloon story. Yeah. Will you help us? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine a story. <gasps> it's a playbook. <laughs> and it's called Balloons. <laughs> Esme had an orange balloon. She took it out one day. She held on tightly to the string in case it blew away. Let go, let go, hissed the wind, and it buffety blustered and tugged at the string, but Esme held her balloon tighter than ever. The wind sighed, it stayed by her side, and followed her to a field nearby where something exciting was happening. People had gathered to fly hot air balloons. Oh, look at those baskets, thought Esme. They're huge. Now, said Mum's friend Nick, this is how we make hot air. The balloons won't stay up without it. But they need a strong wind too, so I hope you've brought the wind with you. Are you there, wind? thought Esme. Yes. 
whispered the wind. The baskets were laid on their sides and the balloons were fixed on tight. They billowed like sheets on a washing line and grew bigger and bigger with each blast of hot air. Wow! They look like a crowd of brightly coloured clouds, thought Mum and Dexter. Or a crowd of giant... Soon they were ready to fly. Hey, wind, whispered Esme. I've got a job for you. Can you blow these hot air balloons? Of course, said the wind. I'd love to. What fun! And whispered goodbye to Esme, Dexter and Mum. I loved that story. <laughs> <laughs> Esme and Dexter saw loads of giant balloons. <laughs> yes, with baskets for riding in. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to go for a ride in a hot Hair balloon. <laughs> so would I. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Shelley. Hi. Is there um, room in that basket for one more? Um, basket? Basket? Oh, I think she's pretending we're in a hot air balloon. Oh, all right. Um, well, you don't look very big. Uh, come along, jump in. Yeah. Uh, make some space for her, Jelly. Come, come, come. Uh, oh, it's a bit you tight in here. That's oh. it. My, oh. neck, my, my oh. teddy. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh. oh hello. Uh, oh, oh. oh marvellous. Oh. oh, they're untying the ropes. Oh, oh. we're going up. Oh. Oh. Sky, oh. how are you blowing? Oh. I wish I could squeeze you in my fingers, oh. but you keep slipping through. Oh. Oh, it's so flotabulous up here. Mm. There's so much space. Yes. Oh, it's a bit chilly though, isn't it? Oh, oh yes. Um, <laughs> jelly, yeah. just hold on to these a minute for oh, me. Okay. Great. Yeah, thank you. Okay, oh, yeah. here we go. Snuggly, cuddly. Scarves. Oh, hey, can I have the stripey one? Please? Of course you can. Shelly. That's the nicest one, isn't it? Jackson. Yeah, keep it nice and warm. Which one should I have? Oh. Quite like the purple one. Jelly, oh. come back! Oh. I've got you. Oh. 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 This wasn't supposed to happen! Oh. 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 I'm going to go all the way oh. to the story machine! <laughs> and I love it! Oh. Here, give me those. Yeah. Oh. While we're here, we might as well make a story. Mm. Yes. Another balloony sort of story. Mm. <laughs> Let's see if this one will fit. Mm. Oh, but we still need some imagination to make the machine work. Yeah. Will you help? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. Beautiful bullfish. Papa Clam and Ellie say hi. Hey. Little Lee and Harry say ho. Hey. With work and electric, they go on a search for treasure. Down the rocks, the barnacles of Barnacle Rock. Yeah. Once upon a tide at Barnacle Rock, something lovely turned up. It was shiny red and floaty round and it had a curly, swirly silver tail that danced along behind it. Wake up, Barnacles! cried Ellie. <gasps> I've found the most beautiful ball fish you ever did see. Oh, it's lovely! chimed the Barnacles. Uh, excuse me, Miss Bullfish, but perhaps you'd like to stop bobbing about for a bit and have a chat. My name's Ellie. I'm a jellyfish. The bullfish didn't answer. It just drifted off in a rather lovely way. Oh, blow! I've lost it now, Ellie puffed. A little further along the seabed, Harry and Littley, the seahorse baby, were practising keeping still when the bullfish floated by. Dad, look at that! cried Littley and touched its shiny skin with the tip of her nose. The bullfish let out a tiny squeak. Stand back, Littley. We don't know what it is, called Harry. I know what it is. 
Scruff swam out from behind his slimy stone. It's a rare silver-tailed globe puffer. And if I'm not mistaken, this one's a lady. The lovely creature flashed its swirly tail at Gruff. I think she likes you, Gruff. Said Harry in amazement. Of course she likes me. Boasted Gruff. He did some upside-down bobbing for the visitor and then let out a loud burp. <laughs> Ellie floated up. Hi, everyone. Oh, wow, you found my beautiful ball fish. Actually, this lovely creature is a lady puffer. Huffed Gruff. Popper Clam appeared from under the sand. Hey, that's no puffer fish, Gruff, me old cockle. Hey, that there lovely creature is a balloon. The people up top have them at parties. But watch out, because they pop if they touch anything sharp or hot. Electric sparked by. Hey, what's been going on? And what's this? She swam around the balloon, hissing and fizzing. Everyone gasped, then bang! One of her sparks hit the balloon. Everyone hid in the seaweed. Oh, it's all right. That there bang was just the sound of the balloon popping. All that was left of the balloon were some little red shreds on Gruff's stone. Gruff was sad. Oh, sorry, whispered Electra. Cheer up, Gruff, me old chum. Balloons don't last forever, said Papa Clown. And look, the pieces have decorated your stone, said Harry. Gruff grinned. Well, that's enough sparking and popping for one day, smiled Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Gruff is such a funny, isn't he? Mm. He thought the balloon was a puffer fish and then it went pop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope our balloons don't go pop. Oh, yes. Pops do happen a lot with balloons, you Roll know. Roll up! Roll up! Oh. Healthy Shelly, the amazing balloon magician! Whoa! Come on, Jackson, let's go! Yes. Come on, Jilly. <laughs> Hello! I'm Shelly, the amazing oh. balloon magician. Oh. I can turn a balloon into almost anything with a bit of a twist and a bit of a tuck. Oh! <laughs> oh, pink, sir. Yes. What would you like? Uh, what can I have? Well, now, how about a dog? Oh, yes, please, a dog. <laughs> oh, a dog it shall be. Yeah, you're so lucky. Oh, yes. 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 Jelly? Jackson? Where are you? We're down here, oh. hiding from the pops. Oh, dear. Well, you know pops can't hurt you. Come on, you're missing the fun. Come on, oh. come up. Oh, mm. I like that dog, Shelly. <laughs> you do? Yes. Oh, well, then you can have it. Go oh, on, thank you. <laughs> it's my dog. Now, my jelly queen, mm -hmm. what would you like? Oh, um, I'd like a balloon animal too, please. Oh. Another animal? Mm. Of course! Yeah. Another animal. After all, I am Shelley, the amazing balloon magician. Yeah. I can turn a balloon into almost anything. Mm. With a bit of a twist and a bit of a tug. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh no! This balloon model in Lark is far more difficult than it looks. Uh, uh, Jelly? Jackson? Where are you? We're down here again. Hiding from the pops again. Oh, I am sorry. Pops do happen a lot with balloons. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Perhaps I can have this one. Oh, well, of course you can, my jelly queen. Uh, uh, did you make all these, Shelly? Well, actually, um, no. Oh. I used a bit of magic and they appeared. Oh. But I will be Shelly, the amazing balloon magician, if I practice. Oh. Yes. yes. I love my blue balloon dog. Oh, don't be silly, Jelly. That's a cat. <laughs> ah, but with a bit of imagination, it could be a blue cow. Hmm? Oh. oh. Why don't you go make a story while I, uh, I practice? Yeah, oh. a blue balloon cow story. Blue balloon cow. Blue balloon cow. Blue balloon cow. <laughs> Now we need your help. Yes, will you help us to imagine a story? Yeah. Imagine, 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 imagine a story. Yeah. <laughs> it is a blue cow story. It 
It's called Blue Cow and the Hot Air Balloon. <laughs> In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was watching the breeze blowing the trees. I wonder what it would be like to float in the air. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a return ticket to a place where I can float in the air, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a windy place. And then they arrived. In front of her was a huge balloon with a basket attached to the bottom. It was so windy that the balloon was held down with ropes. Suddenly, twang, one of the ropes pulled free. What hell, you down there, said a voice from the basket. Do you think you could hold on to that rope? We're being blown away. Of course, said Blue Cow, and she held on to the rope very tightly. But the wind was too strong, and whoosh, the balloon, the basket and Blue Cow were blown up into the sky. Moo! she cried. Oh, Spiffy, you're coming too, are you? said a voice from the balloon. Heave, he cried, as he pulled Blue Cow into the basket. Right here, I'm Colonel Branson, but you can call me Dickie. Hello, I'm Blue Cow. Okie dokie, Bluey. We're on a mission to try and find my auntie's washing. It blew away in the wind this morning. Look, Dickie, there's a dress stuck in that tree. Right, I'll hold the balloon steady, you lean over and get it. Blue Cow reached into the top of the tree and pulled the dress into the basket. Where shall I put it? asked Blue Cow. Might be better if you put it on so it doesn't blow away again, said Dicky. OK. And she put on the frilly polka dot dress. All morning they floated around. They found a hat with flowers on it, a pair of woolly bed socks and a pink feather boa. Thanks awfully, Bluey. Auntie will be pleased. And I must say, you do look rather fetching in that outfit. Oh, thank you, blushed Blue Cow. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been in a hot air balloon. Everyone knows cows can't go in hot air balloons. But we know they can, don't we? <laughs> Didn't Blue Cow look funny dressed up in the washing? <laughs> That wasn't supposed to happen. I think I'm running out of puff. Oh, I think you're running out of night as well. Look, it's getting light. Oh, mm. at least Shelley won't be able to pop any more balloons. <laughs> the children will be coming soon. Dawn is upon us and the morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, Come back story soon. makers, stories Bye. are fabulous, stories Thanks are fun. For helping. Bye. Bye, story makers. Come back to the library again soon. Story makers.